Guys, this is how you would insulate your cast iron uh, kadai handle because you would get with uh, just a uh, bare uh, iron cast iron handle and it would be very difficult to handle this. Okay, so you can just put some cotton rope around it so that it doesn't uh, the heat doesn't get to your hands. Okay, so this is I have done on one side. Okay, I will show you the other side so that uh, you would also know how to do it and you could also find out any other innovative ways uh, but this is what we have right now on our plate and you could also go for a silicone handle uh, uh, iron kadai yeah, that would also help but if you don't have it then I thought uh, this is the other way of uh, 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 insulating it so this is like 2 to 3 mm thickness maybe 4 not sure Okay, so you could find it in any uh, lumber shop or hardware shop, I guess, or even in any supermarkets. So it costed me around like 20 bucks for me, maybe right like 8 to 10 meters length. Okay, so with that, right, so it's a very simple knots I'm gonna use. Okay, uh, so if you see here, right. But you can do this, okay. And so, as my rope uh, is ending out, right, so I'm making some knots again. So I'm gonna tie a knot here now. So like that in the like uh, you can space these knots so that it will be handy to this it is gonna give you the grip. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm almost at the end of the handle. Alright, see. So uh, I'll cut these off, okay, and then show you the final things. So yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, I'm done now. So you could see that uh, both the sides are done. The insulation is done with this uh, cotton rope. See. Uh, this didn't come so good but this was much better because I used one single row I had to actually join this so yeah it's somewhat nasty on this side but it's still okay it works because we may have to repeat this from time to time right so yeah that's it we're done